What's going on, guys? Tony here from Learn Auto Body and Paint.com and Paradise Garage. Hope you're doing well. Um, couldn't get on last week. I was busy with the Tesla project. And I will say at this point, it is complete. And we're going to talk about that and talk about your auto body and paint questions uh, through the next 20 to 30 minutes. Um, please type in the chat down below. Let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Give me some quick feedback. Let me know if you guys can hear and see me. And if you're a Learn Auto Body VIP member, just type in the chat down below VIP and where you are tuning in from. In fact, everybody type in the chat. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. So we're going to cover some auto body questions, some Q&A over the next 20, 30 minutes. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, in the meantime, type in the chat on your, if you guys are on your, how many guys are on mobile, by the way, mobile, type in mobile desktop, type in desktop. I'm curious how many guys are actually tuning in, um, you know, with mobile kind of curious about that. So let's do a quick poll mobile or desktop type it in the chat. And, um, if you're a VIP member, Gail here says VIP, what's going on, Gail, how you doing? Uh, Mayan, what's up, man? VIP from Florida, mobile, desktop, mobile, a lot of mobile so far. Type in the chat, guys. Anyway, have you guys been following the Tesla project, guys? That thing is pretty much complete. I painted it on Thursday. Um, put it together Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it's been on the road. My Actually, I, I wanted to show it to you today, but... It's on the road. My wife took it out. She went go. She went to go shopping, and um, it's not here. But uh, we do have a lot of footage coming down the pipeline. So you guys are gonna get all that, and especially you VIP guys, all you VIP guys, you're gonna get the uh, the detailed VIP course versions of the Tesla project. And I think it came out really well. Uh, we got a few runs on it because I was literally like laying the clear on so heavy that I got a, a run on one fender on the driver's side, the trunk, I got a little bit of run. And then on the passenger side, front door, I got a little run, not bad. Um, something that can easily be buffed out. So that's just basically more content for you guys. We're going to be, you know, I'm going to let that thing chill for like two weeks let let the uh, clear coat cure and get really hard then i'm going to color sand it and buff it you know i'm not in a rush i don't care um you know it looks fine so yeah let's see mobile phoenix arizona thanks for tuning in bro vip from north florida mobile from arizona leo what's up leo VIP from Corpus Crispy Tech, course, Corpus Crispy, <laughs> uh, Texas in the house. What's going on, guys? Awesome. Thanks for the quick feedback. Anyway, any newbies on tuning in for the first time? If any newbies are on tuning in for the first time, just type in the chat, newbie, let me know. And then if you guys got any questions on auto body, type it in. This is like your time, the next 20, 30 minutes, depending on how many guys are on. It's your time. Any questions you got, if you've been following the Tesla project, if you have any questions on that, let me know. But um, it's complete. It looks awesome. Like uh, I took it out to the bakery this morning, went to the beach um, earlier, and like people are staring at that car. Like literally people are like looking at it like because it's one of a kind. You know, you don't see like all the Teslas out now. They're so new. Nobody really attempts to do a custom paint job to it unless it's a wrap, right? Unless people are doing like wraps to it, but wraps don't look good as glossy custom paint jobs. I, in my opinion, this thing has like so much pearl and metallic in it is just eye popping. Looks really well. Once we color sand and buff it, it's going to look like glass. Um, so yeah. Um, let's see. All right, guys. So any newbies tuning in for the first time, first time tuning in newbies type in the chat. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a couple links in here. Um, let's see. 
So this is the page to the free auto body book and um, auto body lessons. If you guys want to click the link down below in the replay or over here. Um, and then also I'm going to pop in the radspaintformula.com um, training here. It's a free training, guys. You could just put your email in, tell me where to send the information, and I'll send you some free video training um, that covers the RADS paint formula. So click down below, or if you're watching the replay, click right over here. Other than that, um, how's everybody doing? Let me know what's going on. You got any auto body questions? If not, we can talk about whatever. Um, and, uh, and we could just basically go from there. So let's see. Mayan says, how do you mix pearl and the process to paint? So if you guys are buying pearl paint, um, like the paint that I got for the uh, Tesla is called, it's called Bikini Pearl. It's a Chrysler, GM Chrysler color. Okay. It's, it's on the Jeep Rubicon color. That's what it is. Now you can see it. And this is literally the color. Um, it's called Bikini Pearl, and there's already pearl in it. So if you take a look at this base coat, there's like tons of pearl in it. So either you could just buy paint that has a lot of pearl in it, pearl and metallics, right? A lot of cars are all, there's a lot of pearl, pearl paints out there. You could basically just buy it, or you can mix pearl if you get a flat color. So if you're doing a flat black, just a a plain base, basic black or white or blue, right? Base coat with no pearls or metallics in it. You can add pearl into it, but you're not going to add it into your base coat. You're going to put the pearl um, or flake inside of a mid coat. Hold on one second. So this is some pearl. This is Moon Dust White Pearl um, by X Finishes here. Okay. This is basically about 85 grams, three ounces of pearl. Okay. You could basically add this to an inner coat carrier, right? It's like a clear base coat. So you would spray your blue base or, or black base or white base then you would put this in in a clear base which is called a carrier right a dbc 500 type of type of paint carrier and then you would spray the pearl over it and then you would put clear coat on it um the other thing here's a this is basically deep sun gold pearl um by x finishes so this is a and you can get these pearls on zula.com z-o-o-l-a-a.com i'll post a link later but this um, you basically, you can also add it in clear coat. So, and, and that basically eliminates a step. The only issue with adding pearls and flakes to clear coat is you can't run it because if you run it, you're going to get that pearl or flake run or sag, and it's basically going to stay, you know, even if you cut color sand and cut that down, you're going to still see that pearl, you know, sag the condensed pearl in that run you know and even if you sand it flat and you buff it you're going to still have that so you just got to be careful if you're just going to be shooting this stuff in clear coat just make sure you don't run it because if you run it you're going to have an issue you have to repaint it because you're not going to like the way it looks uh, the same thing with candy so that's how you do it so you're basically going to throw this into a, a mid coat or you're going to mix it in with your clear coat and shoot two coats of clear Okay. That's basically how you do it. Um, same thing with flake. If you got mini flake, you can put it in a mid coat or you could basically put it in clear coat. And I usually cheat because I 90, 90% 90 of the time I don't get runs in my paint jobs. So I was a little disappointed with this Tesla because I got runs in a couple places. I think I got runs in like four places because I was just literally loading on the clear coat so much. You know, I really wanted a lot of clear on the car. I used about three quarters of a gallon clear coat. 
Gail has a question. Black Rain, what's going on? Andy, what's going on, bro? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, the car came out awesome. I would have shown it to you guys, but my wife took the car. She's out. She's out shopping, so it's not here. See, I'm not bluffing. <laughs> it's not here. Um, Mayan, did that answer your question? Let me know. Oh, yeah. Thanks, bro. I mean, I'm not hard on myself. It's just that, you know, it's just more work. I, I, I wanted to get away completing that paint job without buffing it. But I mean, anytime you do a color sand and buff to a car, it looks even better because like your natural paint job will have a texture to it, you know, maybe not orange peel, but you'll have a little texture to it. So once you color sand and buff it out with like 1500 grit, you get it nice and flat. Uh, then you go with 2000 or 2500, you get to that level and then you buff it out. It really looks like glass. You know, that's when you make a paint job get to that next level, you know? So yeah, cause I'm lazy, I'm lazy. And anytime I can avoid color sanding and buffing, I will. Um, and the other thing is I used a, I wouldn't say a cheap clear, but I used a medium grade clear. I didn't go all out. I didn't want to spend another 500 bucks on damn clear coat. So I used, I basically used the Acme FC 720 and it came out really nice. I mean, it's glossy as hell. It looks really well, hardly any dieback, but once we buff it, it's going to look, it's going to look spectacular. So I am not, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to wait about two weeks, make sure that clear coat gets dried and cured up really well. Then I'll go back and um, buff out the highlights. So I'm going to basically do the whole hood, um, the back trunk and the sides of the car, basically going to sand it all out and buff it out. Um, how do you clean up overspray that gets on nearly everything downwind, upwind of my, upwind of my fans? I mean, you know, I just, you can scrape. Are you talking about overspray getting on your fans like that? Are you talking about that? Like I... I don't know because I've never really cleaned it. Like if it gets thick, you could just get a putty knife and just start scraping it off. But it ain't really that thick yet. I've done like multiple paint jobs in here and it's not really, it hasn't really bothered me yet. Um, definitely try the CSI. You're going to love it. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Paint products have gone up, especially here in Hawaii, man. It's fucking crazy. Um, yeah, so you, I think you guys are going to learn a lot in VIP through this Tesla project because when I did the door jams, like, this paint is so translucent. Like, I used almost a gallon of paint just to do the door jams, like mixed paint, right? But basically, two quarts of base turns into a gallon. And I basic, pretty much used a gallon Um for all my door jams because I was covering white. I should have sealed it first, but I basically just sprayed it base coat and um, it took a lot of paint to cover. Um, plus we were doing the whole under hood, the trunk, four doors. There's a lot of, lot of interior painting, you know, but it came out really nice. Um, Gail, did I answer your question? I'm not sure what you mean. Like, are you talking about your fans? Like your exhaust fans? Guys, we're doing auto body Q&A. So if you have any questions on auto body, go ahead and type it in the chat down below. If you're a newbie, type in newbie. Just kind of curious where you guys are tuning in from. Um, also, if you guys are looking for great spray guns. Oh, talking about spray guns, I was going to use the X88. So I sprayed, I was going to use the X27 for a sealer and then changed to the x88 spray gun for base coat and clear coat but i ended up just i was in the middle of it i ended up just using the x27 low volume low pressure to shoot the whole car i basically did sealer base coat and clear coat with one gun 
all with one gun. And people always email me and they ask me, hey, Tony, do I need multiple guns for a paint job? You know, do I need a primer gun? Do I need the only thing I did was use a different gun for primer. I think I used um, another X X27 that I had same same exact gun, but another one. Um, you know, people are always asking, hey, can I do I need, you know, a clear coat gun? Do I need a base coat gun? Do I need a sealer gun? Yeah, if you have the budget, you know, and if you want to have three guns, yeah, but you could spray everything out of one gun. And that's what I did. Um, and it came out really, really well. Oh, the way you did the front bumper balance with the black accent came out fire. Yeah, that came out nice. Because like every time I do a paint job, I want to do something custom to it. You know, every like there has to be some sort of two tone or something that I do to it. And I was actually thinking of doing the rails black and then doing like something toward the back of the trunk. And I was like, nah, let me keep it simple. The color is is awesome. The color is fire already. You know, let me just keep it simple and just do the front. So I just masked off a section, did black inside the grill area and pfft, it looks good. The car looks hot. The car looks hot. Um, no, I have it on my table saw. My paint cup board by lawnmower all next to a plastic booth. Oh. <laughs> How much time show? How much time would you say it took for the Tesla paint job? Now, are you talking about the complete paint job, like body work, masking time? sanding time painting time all of that or the actual paint day like let me know guys hit the like button super quickly um like let me know like i don't know what you're talking about charlie let me know type in the chat let me know you're talking about the complete the whole thing door jams like all the work that i did the past month because it took me about a month i started it i was looking at my pictures on the phone and i think i started on june 20 ninth like at the end of june complete job man hours i would say because you know it took like one day you know the first day that i started all i did was basically 80 grit my trunk lid and stick that trunk lip on it and then epoxy it in that was like maybe an hour and a half, two hour job, Man, maybe an hour and a half really. But you know, me checking my phone and taking a break and doing other things probably like two hours, you know what I mean? Two hours for that. And then I would say all the body work, man, I would say, I would say, I mean, you know, doing this thing by myself, I had no helpers, nobody complete by myself. Like masking took days for me because just the door jams, you know, and I, I'm like, I hate masking. So like, I'll put in like three, four hours, then I'll just be done for the day. I'll just do something else, you know, and that's probably like half, half the job. So like masking took me two days just to do the door jams. Like, cause like I get so bored doing it. It took me two days to do, to mask up the door jams. Cause like literally there's so much to mask, you know, it's crazy. Um, I would say a good 12, 10 to 12 full days, 10 to 12 full days, full eight hour days. So that's how long it took me to do the job to, to add it up. And it, and I did it over a month. So, you know, that's how I broke it up. You know, it's not like I'm, you know, banging out customer jobs, you know, doing auto body every day. Right. So I don't like, I, I just can't do it anymore like that. I I'd rather do it as a hobby, you know, put, put four or five hours in one day, but there were days toward the end. Um, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, I pretty much put in all day assembling the car, like literally Saturday morning, I woke up at eight. I was on it till six, 6 PM. I'm of course I took a lunch break. I took a couple hours break, but all day, putting the car back together, you know, because there's a lot underneath, underneath the Tesla, there's so many panels, you know, that, cause it, the whole thing is aerodynamic. So like all these panels go up under after you put the bumper cover on the lights on, you got all these panels and the wiring and all that. And at the zip tie, it's a lot of work, you know, and that's without, um, I'm figuring another two days of buffing. So another day 
probably a full day if I'm gonna if I'm gonna buff the whole car, I probably got a, a day of sanding, right? A six to eight hour day of sanding, dry sanding with the DA the whole the whole outside, and then buffing it'll probably take a good day. But you could break it up, you know, into two days of buffing. So I would say two to three days of color sanding and buffing. Um, additional so that's pretty much it does that give you an idea my brother you did it the right way it came out i appreciate you sending me pictures it really looks awesome yeah i took some more pictures uh over by the beach this morning like some video but um i'll get better images once i um i get this thing buffed out it's gonna look even better so yeah guys if you guys want access to this whole thing definitely check out learn auto body and paint vip uh, go over here to get the rads paint formula free training as well at radspaintformula.com. This is, this whole thing is going to be added in VIP. Give me like two to three weeks to get it in there. There's a ton of video footage. There's a ton of editing that needs to be done, but it will be there. And I'll, I'm going to be trickling out some videos over YouTube shortly as well. There's just a lot of content. Like I got my Google drive and like, like 40, 50 gigs of, of, uh, content on this project. Um, so you guys are going to like that. Um, I'm doing a big repair in the middle of a, I'm doing a big repair in the middle of a big finished panel. Bondo primer base and clear. If I have the same exact paint, would it blend in easily? Or what do you think? So, I mean, your question, very hard for me to understand your question, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking you have a panel. So maybe you got a door with a big Bondo spot in the middle. Is that what you're saying? If I have same exact paint, would it be easy? Would it blend in easier? What do you think? I mean, you're going to have to shoot the whole panel. Right. You're going to have to base. It's hard for me to answer these questions because I can't see what you're working on. Luis, if you want to mail in uh, Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com, put some pictures or videos, I can help you out better. Uh, but it's very hard for me to tell you what to do um, just by reading this question. Like I need to, to see what you're doing or you need to kind of like explain a little bit better what you're doing. But yeah, I mean, if you got the correct paint code and they matched it up and you got you know, the right paint, of course you could blend it. You might have to blend into another panel. I'm not sure, you know, what you're exactly what you're doing there, but you might have to blend into a panel and clear two panels or blend it on the same panel and clear the whole panel. You know, I'm not sure. Yo, Andy, how's business? How's work? How's business? I know you're keeping busy with your um, motorcycle projects there. Let me know, bro. Any other auto body and paint questions, guys? Type it in the chat. Let me know. Um, I'm just going to post a couple links if you guys are looking for great spray guns, including the X27 gun that I used to paint the Tesla project. Check out Zula.com. Um, get free training um, at learnautobodyandpaint.com right over here. Get that free auto body guide and some free video trainings. And if you guys want the RADS paint formula training, that's a separate training. Click over here and get that as well. But we're also going to give you that training if you sign up to the other um, autobodyandpaint.com website. But you're going to get it like later. All right, dudes. Yo, that is crazy. And it's only one compound, bro. Remove 600 grit sand scratches. That's nuts. Yeah, I'm going to have to order that, that, uh, that kit soon. I'll definitely look at it, order it, make some content, and put it on uh, YouTube and VIP as well. So, uh, and you were saying it's it's same compound, two, but same same compound, same solution, but two different pads, right? I got to check your text again. Any other auto body questions, guys? If not, we will call it a day. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back around next week, same time uh, for auto body Q&A. So make sure you bring your questions. Other than that, how's everybody doing? You guys good? You guys chilling? Um, 
let me know. Okay, cool. I will definitely check it out, bro. Thank you. Yeah, I just... I've got a 91 Fox body I'm restoring. What should I do the car? What should I do with the car apart? Just primer or base coat? Um, I mean, if the thing is apart, you could just do the primer work and then you could put it together if you want and do the base. I'm not sure what your question is, man. It's very hard. Like, I'm not sure what you're trying to say. I mean, you could... If the car is apart, you could paint the whole car in pieces. You just make sure you have a good, a big enough area to do it. And at what point should I put the fenders and stuff back on? So it's up to you, man. You could paint the, the, the car in pieces if you have an area to do it. And if you're not doing custom candy, pearls, or flake. Um, because if you are, you might get a, a, a slight mismatch on you know panel by panel so i would recommend painting the whole car you know when it's put together um but sometimes um yeah yeah it depends on the color and if you're doing candies and things yeah it, it depends i mean you know you got to make sure that you're in a, a well lit area make sure you're using your gun bud lighting system you know, make sure you can see what you're doing. So you're getting the same, you know, color across all panels. You know, sometimes you can't get, you know, parts of the door jam behind the, you know, behind the door, the rails and all that without the car in pieces. Um, so you might want to paint it in pieces. It's up to you. It's really up to you if you want to paint in pieces or not. Uh, I, I tend to like painting the car together, you know, maybe having the front bumper and back bumpers off, you know, like I did with the Tesla here, you know, in the same booth, in the same room. Um, so you could just get all those pieces as well. So it's really up to you how you want to do it, you know. Yes, one wool pad and one red foam pad and one compound. That's crazy. Do you put, do you put, um, do you use some sort of polish glaze or uh, do you use a wax on top of that at the end? Like, how does that, like, I'm kind of curious. One compound, that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Um, tropical glitz, blue is the plan. Is that a base coat or, or is that seductive blue? Is that a base coat? with uh, pearl or flake in it i'm not sure i thought maybe painting pieces with base and then put together for candy oh yeah you're definitely going to want to put it together for candy you might as well put it together for base as well if you're going to do that doesn't you know how long does paint last no bro nothing and it comes out like glass that's crazy that's crazy. I'm going to go ahead and pick up that kit, Andy, um, from Amazon. Good evening, Terry. What's going on? How long does paint last on the shelf? Paint can last years, years on the shelf. You just got to make sure that when you open it up, you know, if the paint is sitting on the shelf for two years and you open it up, you got to make sure to mix it up because you're going to get that concentrate heavy, you know, paint and pearl and all that toward the bottom of the can. So just make sure you mix it up really well uh, before you use it. <clears throat> clear coat, you know, clear coat can also last a couple of years, but if you got like three year old clear coat sitting on the shelf, uh, I, I don't know if you're doing a small job, you could probably use it probably be okay. But if you're going to be doing a complete paint job, I would pick up a new new gallon of clear coat. You know, I wouldn't be putting old, old clear coat like that on. But base coat tend to last many, many years. Um, clear coat, I would say up to two years. Um, any longer than that, get some new clear coat. Most likely candy. Got it. 
Thanks, Mang. Trying to get my head wrapped around the order. I need to do everything. I need to do everything. And awesome, awesome. Nine finger wrenching. Are you a uh, Learn Auto Body VIP member or not? Let me know. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I would put your car together, dude. You know, you can have it primed up. Um, if you're going to be doing a custom paint like that, I would definitely seal it, you know, go with a one K sealer. This should, this stuff is great. Where is it? This stuff, this saved me. Um, I used about a quart and a half to seal the whole Tesla is this thing, this stuff shoots on really nice and it covers really well. You can cover a little bit of metal body filler, you know, some glaze putty spots and whatnot. You just seal it. And I took, I got video footage of everything, um, all the, the whole step-by-step -step process on the Tesla. And that that's going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks. There's just so much footage. I got them, you know, in files on my Google drive. Um, and we're going to start banging the content out very shortly. So you guys are going to get that soon. Also, Tony, when it goes all over everything, it's a pain. Yep. Just hose it off because it's water soluble. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome, man. Thanks. So I ordered me an inflatable paint booth. Yay. Congrats. I just found out about that from one of your recent posts. I need to check out, check it out. VIP. Yeah. Check it out, bro. You're going to love it. There's like over 250 hours of content in VIP. Um, A to Z paint jobs, how to do body work, how to do candy, how to do everything. And this Tesla project is going to go in there as well. Um, and uh, you're going to get a lot out of VIP, I think. And also when you're VIP, you can jump on these streams. I mean, I'm, I'm helping you out anyway, but VIPs get priority if, if it gets busy. And if you need to send me a video or images, you know, I will take my time to, to go over what you got and help you out. Yo, thank you, Arnold. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, hey, my screen just froze for a second. That was weird. You guys there? Testing. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think we're okay. VIP is worth every penny. Ask me how I know. I went from DIY guy to owning a shop for over a year. <laughs> You're awesome, bro. You're awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Andy, thanks for tuning in. Nice to see you. And um, I got to order that stuff and I'll keep you posted. I right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. This car I have is gutted. Never done a full restoration. Just want to make sure I do everything I should in the right order, the right way. You should definitely check out VIP then. <laughs> I'll send you the link. Check it out. You're going to love it. All right, guys, um, posting a couple links down below. There's the link to VIP if you guys want to check it out. Um, and I'll see you guys next week, Tuesday, same time for about 20, 30 minutes to answer your auto body questions. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Peace. See you around. And uh, stay up. I'll be up to date. Um, I'll give you updates on the Tesla project shortly. Peace. Thanks for tuning in, guys.